and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some unyielding kegs. We're going to continue on with meme tier Monday into Tuesday here. We're going to have three meme tier decks to start the day off with. Just had so many cool meme tier decks that viewers submitted to get to. We had to spend a little bit more than just one day this week on them. So we're going to have meme tier Monday, Tuesday edition today. And so this first one that we got is we're going to be playing our powder kegs. We're going to have boom ship with a bunch of powder kegs and then with unyielding spirit. Because if we can get unyielding spirit on a powder keg, then the powder keg can't die. So whenever you, um, whenever you uh, use your powder keg, um, usually it would destroy itself when you use powder keg. But if you have an unyielding spirit, it can't die, so it doesn't destroy itself. So a car like boom ship, you know, you deal one and then summon powder kegs equal to the amount of damage dealt. It will just keep on adding on more and more powder kegs and they won't die. So like, let's say you have three powder kegs in play and you unyielding spirit them. And then you cast boom ship. Well, you dealt four damage because you have the three powder kegs adding in three extra damage. And then you add four powder kegs to your total. So now you have seven total powder kegs. So now with seven powder kegs, you know, everything else is going to do a lot more damage. So you're going to have like parlay that will now do, you know, eight damage. And then if it kills something, eight damage, the enemy nexus and so on. So like, that's what we have, like that kind of cool thing going. We also are going to have um, a couple of new cool cards with Gangplank. So of course, we're going to be a Gangplank deck with us being a powder keg deck. But Gangplank has this attack, like what, if we get a leveled up Gangplank, we have this attack ability to do one to all the enemies in the enemy nexus. And so we want to be able to do that more than just once. So we're going to have Cataclysm and golden e ages in here uh, that can both go on the gangplank and rally the gangplank and get a free attack, you know, get more attacks. That should be pretty nice. Even if even if we just have gangplank that's not quite leveled up yet, still a cataclysm taking something smaller, you know, challenge something that's smaller should get us um, a nice good attack with the overwhelm damage and also help level up the gangplank. Um, we have Riptide Rex in here, which could be awesome with an Unyielding Spirit, Powder Keg stuff, of course, a couple Dreadways, some Spray Fin for, for card advantage, Twist of Fate, do a little bit of everything. And that's kind of our deck. It should be pretty fun to play. Egghead Researcher in here um, to be a cheap blocker that gives us more top end in case we need it. And that's our deck. So let's go try it out in normal, because it's Meme Tier Tuesday, <laughs> second Meme Tier day. Lee Sin. All right, we're going to have Lee Sin with Sharima. This could be a little difficult. We'll see. We got our boom ship. Question is, have they fixed the Cataclysm bug yet? I'm not sure. I don't know too much about the Cataclysm bug. So we'll just talk about it in chat earlier. As far as I know about it, it only affects like when you have extra attackers attacking, I think. So I, as far as I know, like the bug should not affect our games. It's it's hard to mulligan Boomship. Boomship's just a big part of our deck. In general, it, it makes a lot of our other cards better. So yeah, in chat, the bug only happens when you create an attacking unit while attacking. Like with a Z or something, so that shouldn't affect us, hopefully. And then uh, the bug is just so like you're supposed to challenge something, but they can take it away and not let you challenge it. But yeah, so shouldn't affect us, hopefully. Alright, not the best start so far. It's like I'm priced into just playing this fortune croaker that I wanted to wait on. kind of a weird inner sanctum right now right because don't you want you want these things for Lee Sin but they're not going to have Lee Sin in play yet so they're just going to put like two keywords on like a 2-2 or on an eye of the dragon it's like not that great
Yeah, I, maybe they didn't realize they were going to be fleeting, because, yeah, they're just putting two keywords on an Eye of the Dragon, like, whatever. Oh, well, the plus two plus O is nice. Yeah, we need to get some kegs booming. I guess those lucky finds did help them get the draglings, though. It is time. So we have we have a lot of things that we can kind of do here. If I go Gangplank this turn, I could go Unyielding Spirit the next turn on the kegs. I think I'm just going to protect this Brayfin instead. Try to just kill these Eye of the Dragons. Won't be going for the Unyielding Spirit yet. Destroy a Mana Gem to draw a champion. And they don't... So, like, they only... They had five mana because a Mana Gem was destroyed. They don't get to actually cast that. We need more powder. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. I guess unyielding spirit, really not very good against um against Lee Sin. Uh, Lee Sin's dragon rage just bounces it, so unyielding spirit really doesn't do anything with that. That right of calling card with Lee Sin is pretty awesome. That Shurima card. Being able to tutor them up, that's really awesome. Please, no overwhelm, no overwhelm. No overwhelm. Got challenger? Cool. That is useless because it always has challenger anyway. That was a useless keyword. Yeah, Lee Sin's pretty good. I I don't don't really have too much in the way of killing Lee Sin's in this deck. Breathe in, breathe out. I don't know if we have anything. I don't I don't think we have anything that kills Lee Sin. But that that zero mana card was awesome. That you know tutor up Lee Sin's. With a little time, I'll have a break. Conflict is all in the mind. The coral. Yeah, Fiora and Leeson are the they're the fun police champions that if you if you play decks that can't, you know, immediately kill like if you can't kill their champion, you just lose the game like you can't. Doesn't, it really doesn't matter what you do, right? So, like, they, they don't care about really what the opponent does. All they have to do is just protect their champion, and their champions will win the game. That's a cool one drop. No overwhelm. 
They chose that super... Oh, never mind. I was going to say they chose it super fast, but now when they're choosing it here. Alright, they got plus one, plus one. Okay, well, we'll try again the next game. Hopefully not Lee Sin or Fiora. All right, we got four Sharima champions. All right, so Cataclysms for super late game. Um, we need more powders for the boom ship, but still, I want to keep it. There we go. Lucky them, they got their one cost landmark on turn one. And they still have more cards than I do. If it's made of sand, I can write. Rock Hoppa. Go ahead, attack. No, why, why aren't you attacking? If I Cataclysm, I deal one, and then summon one Powder Keg, and then the one Powder Keg gets blown up from the Corsair. Not the best use of that card. On the trigger. I need more oh no, two Boom Ships gone. The Emperor commands. All right, I want I want to get the damage in for Gangplank. Wow. Okay, that makes more sense. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. All that is mine. Oh, this doesn't work, does it? Spell shield. Blit. It's a living. Watch me. It can be undone. Get a damage on them for our gangplank. Well, it cost me basically three cards <laughs> to kill that thing, but we killed it. Keep up, keep up. It's a cool card. Gangplank, where are you? We're already at four, gangplank. Where are you at? Oh, would that have worked through Spell Shield? The challenge? This works through Spell Shield? Gonna catch the skies. So I didn't need to cast that parlay? Okay, so yeah, chat's saying that, that the Cataclysm would have worked through the Spell Shield. That's interesting to know. Give them something to remember. These Not a good turn for me. Spending zero mana. I can... I mean, I guess I could boom ship and parlay to kill a 2-2, but it's a 2-2. Boo. Come on, really? Some help, please? Double quicksand. Must be nice.
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this to keep this Azir from leveling up. Two, four, six. Ugh, stop. Alright, well, I gotta use this now. But still, we're doing just fine there, out of cards. I can't play this and Dreadway next turn, so we'll just do this right now, do six damage to them, and then play this Dreadway this next turn. The ocean and now this thing attacks for 12, and that will do. Our, our unyielding keg dragon deck. <laughs> the random dragon in our deck. Getting it done. Lucian Azir. Alright, another aggressive Azir deck. Those Cataclysms were awesome, though, right? Like, both cat. Like, we used two Cataclysms to kill two champions last game. That was definitely really important. Um, yeah. <laughs> Keeping the Boom Ship didn't really do anything last time. I'm gonna try it again, though. But this time. Because they go Lucian on turn two. And I'm going to kill it on turn three. So I go Petty Officer, Powder Keg, and then Boom Ship. I mean, I don't think they're blocking. Let it die, let it die, let it die. No, don't shape stone and keep it alive. Alright, let's miss some food stuff. Wow, this is a good red card. <laughs> Never lost a fair game. Do three to everything? Something for all. That's a good red card. Alright, two for Gangplank. Hmm. Unyielding Spirit, eh? I was just thinking that Parlay could be a good draw from Zap Spray Fen. How about that? I was just thinking that. So if I, if I parlay right now... Like, I want to parlay next turn because of Gangplank. I don't know if that's greedy or not. That's probably pretty greedy. Backfired. Time to get rowdy. Could definitely be game over. Like if they have if they have a rally in hand, could be game over. Yeah, we'll go game play. Troy and won't do any good. 
Yeah, so they have a rally. It's pretty much game over. Had a really good hand though. Multiple Grizzled Rangers, both champions. Their Emperor's dies if they have that and rally also. Okay, good, not rally. If they have all that and rally also, yeah, you just gotta give it up to them. Okay, the free attack challenging. Um, man, I'm one turn from leveling. Man, if if only that parlay killed that thing and we got the fourth on the gangplank, because then we could play the Corsair. And make you know we. You know, we definitely get the fifth here. We're gonna have to go wide. That's four. Because I wasn't sure, depending on what they did, I may may have wanted to use Cataclysm there that turn, depending just depending on what happened and everything. So I didn't I didn't want to just start with playing the Corsair. So it was, I wasn't sure if I was going to want it or not. Oh man, Twisted Fate's at six. Maybe I save Twisted Fate. I. I feel like I want to Unyielding Spirit one of my two champions this turn. Why are you here? Like, I want to block a zero with one of them and Unyielding Spirit it, but I'm... Which one do I Unyielding Spirit? Maybe I do the Twisted Fate. No, it's got to be the... It's the Gangplank, because we want to attack with the Gangplank. Yeah, it's the Gangplank. So I, this is me taking three. And yeah, hopefully they don't have Rally stuff. Or, I guess they have the plus three, plus one, I die. So. Yes! I should have blocked with Twisted Fate there to, to not die to the plus three, plus one, probably. Because then if, if we survive, we have, like, those, you know, like, if we survive this turn and go back to our turn with having, like, the two different, you know, uh, free attacks. So having, like, three attacks with, like, the leveled up. Um, I guess it would only be two attacks with leveled up. Gangplank, but you know, like we would have been pretty good there. LeBlanc Ash. This is a good deck. Keeping Boonship still hasn't been working out for us too much, but they play smaller, or like they play smaller health units, right? Like they have like the 5 1 Challenger, LeBlanc's a 5 2, Ash is a 5 3. So we're going to try that. And I. I want this Unyielding Spirit to work. <laughs> I want to try, you know, like, it's meme, you know, like, we're just playing normal with meme tier stuff. I want to try, see if I can get this Unyielding Spirit. So, like, we can, Unyielding Spirit as early as turn five. That's as early as we can. I don't want to, like, get the Powder Keg out there right now and let them challenge Powder Keg first, though. Duke the bait. Hot on the trail. Packed him good. And obviously they can have Culling Strike and all sorts of things that break up the Unyielding Spirit, but I hope they don't. They don't. Um. Alright, I'm playing Twisted Fate to try to bait out removal or stuff. And I know I could, like, you know, red card, gold card and stuff with the Powder Keg, but... I really want to Unyielding Spirit this Powder Keg this next turn. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm just going for it. This isn't, like, the smartest play. But I'm going for it. One did you catch? Because if it works, if it works, like we win the game, basically. So they have to have like Culling Strike or Warning Shot. Not Warning Shot, sorry, uh, Whirling Death. 
have to have Calling Strike or Whirling Death. If they don't, we look great. Are they thinking about just passing and not attacking? That would be sad for me. Okay. Come on, challenge the Powder Cake somewhere so I can Unyielding Spirit. Thank you. Nope. What are you doing? Thank you. So, I want to block that 8. Alright, you go block 5. Let's see, so I take 8, go to 9. Please work. Come on, animation. No! No! Troll chant. Ice shard! Oh! Ice shard. Alright, well, I tried. Like I said, it wasn't the safest play. It wasn't like the... Yeah, it was not the safest play at all, but... I probably should have blocked with the Twisted Fate so I could have a new Twisted Fate available here. So I could have gone more, more powder with red card. That's what I should... I should have blocked with this thing. Looks like trouble. We need more powder. If they didn't have that, if they weren't able to kill that powder keg, this game would have been ours. Okay. It can still be ours, though. It's just going to be more difficult. Like a fish in water. <laughs> <laughs> Today we fight as one! We live here! Many heart guards. Be nothing left when I'm done. So many hearth guards. So little time. We're going <clears> to <throat> blow some stuff up with some boom ships. Lame. Hmm. Still probably better just to do the boom ship. Uh, like, no. I, yeah, we'll just do parlay. Because then I can save two mana enough to have sharp sight to go along with Dreadway. Next turn. Also attack, they block I sharp sight. Do I want to spend two mana to kill an Avaros and Trapper? Not really. Oh wait. I will unite the Freljord. Okay, only the one. Just the one attack they had earlier. Yeah, that twist fate's like almost good. Okay, so they're they're tapped out. So I can kill I can kill Ash. Just go to three. So I can sharp sight this Corsair and kill Ash. Or I could sharp sight like the Dreadway and kill the Hearth Guard. Let's see, this is okay, actually. All right, I, I think we have to kill you, Twisted Fate. I'm sorry. You got legs. Use them. All 
Nice, that's three for you. Yeah, they gotta have a bunch of Frostbite cards. That's a very fair assumption there. Round them up. Alright, not my favorite. Can't play you anymore. Ping them by their entrails. So they block with the five five. They take five. Mm. So like I kill both of their things. My gangplank dies, but I kind of have nothing, and they have six cards. These assessors. Yeah, that's the thing. Is we're not going to be. This is not a good attack, but not attacking is not a good option either. So I, even though this is not a good attack, I think not attacking is a worse option. So red card would kill the enraged yeti and I could just block the hearth guard but I'm going to do this instead to stun the hearth guard where I can I can block you know if they if they just attack I block here but if they play something else then I can have the boom ship still kill the enraged yeti where if I go red card the boom ship's not killing this thing Holy partner. We would have won this game very easily if they if that unyielding spirit hit that powder keg and it would have been an awesome game and, uh, you know, I, I, I don't regret going for it. Definitely looks like it's going to cost us this game, but I don't regret going for it. So what happens when you draw all the cards. You have cards you need. <laughs> oh, that's such a bad challenge. Thanks for challenging. I don't have to block with my stuff. That was nice of you. Lady Luck is smiling. Well, again, bad attack. I don't have good options, though. All right, eight. So this will put him down to four. Can I top deck something that does four damage? I don't think I have anything. Okay, well, we put up a fight. That would have been a sweet game for that unyielding spirit. Kindred with Targon. Could be a decent unyielding spirit game. Targon has, like, Hush and all that kind of stuff. You know, Hush and Obliterate from Celestials. But Sh Shadow Isles, like, unyielding spirit's great against Shadow Isles. All right, early crack shot Corsair. Let's get crew. Hopefully, will help us level up gang Gangplank. And there's Gangplank. Our hand's pretty decent. <laughs> have y'all noticed that you seem to like get the same thing in like 
couple games in a row, right? Like, we got Imperion last time, so we're gonna Imperion. Is this, was this the third Imperion, actually? Have we just played three Egghead Researchers and all of them have been Imperion? I think that's actually correct. I think we've, I think we're three for three. Imperion style. Question is, what do you think about Riot implementing spells for Freljord that go to that hit the enemy nexus, like ice shards, after um, removing that from Avalanche quite some time ago? I don't mind it. I don't. I don't really mind it because the ones they put in are less powerful than Avalanche. Um, I am allowing them to kill the powder keg, but I just don't think I really mind. So I want to do this, of course, to just get the overwhelm damage in and have that go towards leveling up Gangplank to be 3 out of 5 now. And I can be at 12. 12's not the worst. We're at three out of five. Before. Let's do this. I'm always up for a round or two. All that I could definitely be walking into ruination, which you know would be pretty silly, but I do have like a bunch of stuff still in my hand if they do have ruination. Expect that, eh? All or nothing. Follow the tracks. In range. Captain's orders. Bullet to the face. So they only have two blockers. Hours. So put them to two. So I go for lethal with sharp sight, or I kill kindred. If I go for lethal, they play Vile Feast, they stay alive at one. Where if I kill Kindred, I don't really see how... Oh, they'd have Hush. Well, that's... Okay, that's a thing. I say I don't really see how they win without Kindred. But I did neither. I didn't kill them and I didn't kill Kindred, so this is bad. Hush. That was... I didn't think that there was anything that would have stopped that would have kept their kindred alive. I forgot about Hush. Yeah, you can that's not that great of a glimpse beyond. You can mark this crack shot course there. That doesn't really matter that much, right? I'm something of an aspiring trachologist. Okay, well it's not the Imperion, but it is another seven drop. There you are! What? Tear them apart. What? They grow up so fast. Came a long way. So if I block like this, it levels up Kindred. It's possible I die to Kindred Atrocity. Still die to atrocity if I block like this. I don't really need to kill that 2 1 though. This is probably a better block. I'm gonna I'm gonna die to atrocity either way.
I mean, the the one two is marked. It's gonna it's gonna die either way. Like it'll die at the end of the turn anyway. That kindred will get the plus two plus two. I'm basically hoping that between the Empyreon and the Sprayfin, one of them can kill the opponent. Um, yeah, I guess it's got to be the Empyreon. But that that Hush won this game for my opponent. You know, like that, that turn with the Hush. Like, if they have Vengeance, something like that, if they have something that keeps them alive. Well, the Kindred's dead. Probably just going to open attack. Oh. Did they just draw that vengeance, or did they have that? I guess maybe they had to ruination because of the spray fin being lethal. Kind of need that gangplank in play to give me parlay, <laughs> right? Uh, I guess I just go with this brood mother because it can scout and it can it can attack twice and force them to block with two things. Where the dread way they just block with one thing. Yeah, I mean, the double damage doesn't matter. Uh. That's such a great card to play. Two blockers. Oh, that's even better. Where did that card come from? Blessing of Targon? And just too many expensive cards, just too many turns that we can't can't double spell them. Why? What do you expect me to have my three one block that? Okay, well, help help they're helping me stay alive. Stop! Come on. Is it worth playing more powder at all? Probably not. I know it basically costs one mana to play the more powder right now. I think I'll just save the extra mana. Okay. That card can win it for me. Let's see if we can get them to waste their two cards. Let's see what they got. So if I cast Parlay right here... They have to have like a vile feast, something to kill the powder keg. But then my part, my gangplank will level up. Basically, just debating like whether I want to play the fortune croaker first if we need to have unyielding spirit or something. Okay. But you know, just put a lot of pressure on them by going gangplank and then parlay with the powder keg. Worst case scenario. You know, if like they were able to take out both of those, like a vile feast and a vengeance, then I was gonna, you know, then play the more powder and the two drop and draw another card. That would have been worst case scenario, of course. All right, so there we go. That was Unyielding Kegs. Had a sweet last game there and had just some really fun games in here. Finished with a winning record, three and two. Nothing wrong with that. And one of those losses that won to the Freljord Noxus deck, if we tried for the unyielding keg combo on turn five and they had the ice shard to break it up which was disappointing if they didn't have that ice shard definitely would have won that one um but i have to say i was impressed with cataclysm 
and we didn't really use golden ages but you know like that kind of thing I, I was definitely impressed with that with gangplank but just cataclysm in general you know it's kind of like a single combat that's even a little better because it, it counts as an attack instead of just the two things striking um but I'm, I'm gonna have to play some more cataclysm so like that you know the fact that it counts as attack gives you some good bonuses like we got like a, a crack shot corsair got a couple damage with that and then of course the overwhelm from gangplank that was pretty impressive um it was tough to pull off the unyielding spirit even there against that that shadow isles deck the last time didn't really have too much time for it the egghead researcher was really good we kept on making the seven six elusive dragon or i guess six five the six five elusive dragon the seven mana elusive dragon there we go and that thing was winning us games because it's just super big and elusive so that card was good um and uh yeah we got to we did get to do like uh two or three powder kegs with a red card i think like two powder keg red card that's always good so fun mean tier deck to start the day off with it's not like you know this isn't like a like the best ranked deck or anything but it's a lot of fun to play if you like playing a whole bunch of powder kegs and stuff uh give it a try and uh you know let me know how it goes those of y'all on youtube always love seeing those comments so let me know how the deck goes for you if you give it a try yourself um, but anyway, that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching some unyielding kegs and I'll see you for the next video.